Hello students. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find a literature review. Now, I have made other videos in which I describe what literature reviews are sort of for and how they are structured and how to write them. That's not the topic of this video. This one's going to remain quite short. And the whole goal is to say, here's how you can actually find a literature review. Lit reviews can be very useful from the point of view of students because they give a broader perspective of academic research on a given topic. So I'm going to show two different databases that can allow us to find literature reviews. Uh, I've covered databases in another video as well. I will just say, let's remind ourselves that in order to get to any databases, we need to go to the Marriott Library homepage and we want to click on that link right there, the one that says databases. Now I've got the two databases that I, I, I want to search through queued up and I will just quickly go Go to the first of these two, which is Google Scholar, and this is probably the easier method of finding a review. Um, I will say that even though you can get to Google Scholar by just Googling it, it's often way better to go through the university database to get there, or the university library rather, because they give you full access to the articles. Whereas if you're just on your home computer and you're searching for an article on Google Scholar, it will tell you that the article exists, but it may not give you access to it. Um, so with Google Scholar, it's a really simple method of, of searching for for database, uh, we will just type in a topic. What should we write about for this paper? Let's write about um, attention and uh, social media. So the other thing I'm going to say here is lit literature review, uh, literature review. Just type that in. Uh, usually Google Scholar will play ball. It will give you um, literature reviews. You're going to want to sort of vet them, see when they were published, see whether or not they seem like they're on the topic, but often it's just that easy. Just type in the word literature review along with your search. So I, I will say that just by typing in the, the term literature review, it's not necessarily a guarantee that everything you're going to get is a literature review. These definitely seem like, like it just based on the title. And of course, we can see right here a review of the existing literature. That's obviously a literature review. Uh, so Google Scholar can get you there real easy. Uh, let me go to one other database that I quite like. Uh, let's try the same search here. Uh, attention and social media um, and let's search for that i teach uh, scopus to my upper division students quite a lot uh, it's a good database that has like a huge archive and a lot of useful tools i find I, it seems to me more user friendly in some ways than some of the other university databases and one of the things i really like about it is that i can filter my search by the type of article so here i've typed in the search uh, attention and social and media that's how scopus is reading it um, Boolean operators are a topic for another video. I won't talk about them right now. Uh, I will just say briefly, we've got 25,000 documents. I'm going to go on down here. And the thing that I really want students to be conscious of is this option document type. I can search for a particular type of document or type of uh, uh, of article, and I'm going to click on review, and then I'm going to click limit to, not exclude. That will like get rid of all the reviews. What I want is to limit it to my reviews. So I'm going to limit to, and that will bring up a list of uh, literature reviews. Uh, we could see like you know, whether or not they're relevant for us. And of course, to do that, the thing that we want to do first is to uh, look at the abstract or look at the title. In this case, recent advances in porous organic polymers, probably not for us. I don't know why that's coming up. Um, uh, here's one that seems much more along the lines of what I'm thinking. Uh, engaging youth voice and family partnerships improve children's mental health outcomes. If I'm writing about mental health and social media, I could certainly see that being a worthwhile article. Um, uh, one thing to note, though, about all of these articles, and I've got to move my face here, so I'll put myself over here. Um, They've got a category of the amount of citations, and all of these are going to be archived in terms of like what's new. There, this was published in 2024. That's when I'm making this video, and there are zero citations. Uh, another feature of Scopus that I really like is it allows you to sort by whatever has the highest citations. So I'm going to filter through that, or I don't filter is the word, but sort through that. Um, and now I'm going to start looking more at uh, the lit reviews that are kind of more high profile documents. Like this one, for instance, has 1500 citations. That's a pretty uh, healthy amount. A little old. Uh, I might want to li limit my search to something a little bit newer than that. In fact, I can do that right now, but I do like this. Adolescence, a foundation for future health. I would want to at the very least read what this is about, because it sounds like a potentially interesting review that I could read. Uh, 
uh, let's say I want to get something a little bit more uh, recent than that. Let's uh, say 2018, and we'll just filter it through that, and that will uh, have a much more recent set of findings. Uh, so I'll leave the video off there. I don't mean it to be a long one. I'll just say briefly, again, lit reviews are often really useful starting places. If you're trying to start a research project, uh, lit review is often like the most useful, useful initial article to find because it can give you much more perspective than the original research articles.